to the Quantum Healing Show, where we guide you through dimensions, from the third to the fifth and beyond. Join us on this transformative journey, building bridges to a new world you create. Strap in and buckle up, you're in the driver's seat of your own reality. We are your guides, providing insights into the healing process and the knowledge to construct your bridge to abundance and prosperity. Introducing your host of The Quantum Healing Show, Dr. Sam Muggsy and Digital Tom. Are you ready to unlock your potential? Hello and welcome to The Quantum Healing Show. In this episode, we're going to be talking about how the gates of 5D are now open, the tools you need to raise your frequencies to move across your 5D bridge, all the health tips and the things that Muggsy wants to share with you about how to raise your frequencies to prepare your journey across that bridge. This is going to be some exciting information. Without further ado, let's get into it. Hi, Muggsy. How you doing? Hi, I'm great. So I have some mind-boggling and exciting information for everybody. And I think you guys already know this. You're already tapping in. These energies are affecting you. And I wanted to explain what's going on so that you can now feel comfortable moving into this new paradigm, but also realizing we're a group and we're all moving together. So I'm going to help you guys with some ideas, but also I'm going to be leading you across this bridge between the 3D and the 5D and moving into this new world and this new reality that so many of us crave desperately. So if you guys remember, for years I've been talking about this dream that I had that was a premonition of when we would get ready to move to 5D and we were going to cross the bridge that we would all meet at this one rock at the top of the mountain. And there's one single tree and that we would all walk up there, but the bridge wasn't available yet. So we would sit down and just wait and watch as the other crews were starting to move up this mountain. And as we sat there, we noticed that the bridge wasn't available. You you physically could not see the visibility of that bridge. It We just knew that that bridge, that etheric bridge, was going to build itself at the right time. So we were waiting for this woman to come and open up the bridge. And so as we're sitting there, all of a sudden, this light brown haired woman comes up to the bridge with her group, opens up the paradigm or the etheric door and starts walking across the bridge. And they got about halfway through the bridge. We sat there and watched. And then all of a sudden we said, all right, let's go. And we started walking across this bridge. As we started walking the bridge, we noticed that the first group actually went behind a a curtain of some kind and we could no longer see them or where they were going. At that point, we took off and started running to catch up with them so that we could move into this new reality, this new world that we wanted to embrace. So as we took off running, we got up to the curtain and we moved it aside and we stepped through to the new world. And when the curtain shut behind us, we could no longer see 3D, nor could they see us. But we did know that more people were coming behind us and opening up that curtain and entering into the fifth dimensional paradigm. So this was pretty profound. It didn't really, I didn't know what it meant, but I believe it's about today because now the 5D bridge is available. People have already started moving in and now we're going to go in across this bridge etherically and move into this new paradigm. So When I met Ray Kozolandic, who's the one that introduced me to George and his Fab Four, that he told me that in the 1700s that the the earthlings could not ascend and it held everybody back. 
And if you remember, Alex Collier had also spoken about this and there was other people, I think George Van Tassel, some other people from our past, maybe Frank Strange's, you might want to look, that everybody in this universal time frame that's locked together in this grid could not move forward in ascension into a higher consciousness reality because of what happened with the earthlings. So the 3D earthlings enjoyed their habitat and they didn't want to expand their lotus flower into a higher reality, thus bringing their earth into a 5D lifestyle, which then pushes everybody else up. So what happened is, is that there was a call and this will make sense to you guys that it's written about in the Bible, the 144,000. It was a bunch of star seeds from the planetary systems of the Pleiades and the Arcturians, Andromedans, and some others that got a call to incarnate into Earth, the 3D, to raise up their consciousness, to live a different lifestyle, to set an example of what it's like to live in this new reality homesteading, uh, cooking, baking, knowing your spices, making your own salves and creams, utilizing honey to heal yourself, and making your own apothecary cabinets of herbs and teas to heal your body. We knew instantly that we were not supposed to be eating processed foods or certain poisons. Most of us refrained from eating meat, blood. We avoided ketchups. We avoided because we knew that we were all about vibration. Somehow we just knew some of us more than others. Okay. And there's no judgment here. We did the best that we could incarnating into the earthling environment. So we taught the earthlings what to do but now it's time to separate. And those that want to live a higher vibration, they're going to be moving their planetary system up. It's already in a 5D situation. For the rest of us, we're going to be moving into our own planetary system where we come from. And this is what a lot of people call home. We remember home. So we're going home now. The bridge is open the light brown haired lady has started going across the bridge and she's taking her group with her. And now I'm seeing it. I'm seeing that it's open and we're available and I'm going to help you walk the way. Now, here's what's crazy is that earthlings or 3D people, they can't hear us. They won't resonate with us. They don't understand us and we're not going to make sense to them. So, I'm basically talking with the star seeds and you know who you are at this point, you know who you are. This will make sense to you. If not, you might be an earthling. If you are a star seed and you're going home, then you're going to fall right in alignment with what I'm talking about today. Okay. So let's talk about, we came here to break the matrix. We came here to break the draconian matrix and we had to go inside of it in order to break it from within, break the paradigm or the zombie uh, systems where everybody was like ants doing what the last one did and they couldn't make any changes because everybody was following suit. So we came in and we messed them up. And that's why we were the black sheep. That's why people casted us out. That's why people made fun of us is because we knew we didn't want to be a part of that 3D earthling matrix. We were creating our home and what we remembered in our own brains. And we were emulating those steps in this lifetime. So if you go to Bob Lazar's back videos and listen to him there are religious artifacts that area 51 has been holding on to and not releasing 
the fact is, is that this biological unit that we call a body is actually a container that withholds the light body or your higher self body. It is an electromagnetic fusion of photons, electrons, molecules, muons. All of these quantum particles are within your body. And I'm going to explain more. Some of us are going to enhance those particles. And some of the, some of us that are the earthling 3D people, they're going to destroy it. They're going to move back to their 3D environment. So walk with me, keep an open mind. What resonates, great. Take it, make yourself better. What doesn't, cast it aside. Nobody is going to enforce these thoughts, beliefs, patterns, whatever you want to call it. Nobody is above anybody else. Nobody's a prophet. Nobody's here to dictate. You take what is going to make you the best form of you and leave the rest. Okay. So here we go. The gates are open. We're now preparing the energies from what George has been showing me. Okay. And what I've been seeing on my movie screen is that these energies that are coming in from the starships and through the solar system are a higher vibration. The starships that you're connected to are raining down these plasma rays with knowledge, with energy, with a connection to your soul body within your container. Okay. So what you want to do is you want to pay attention to your own self, your thoughts, your I am. This is what Valiant Thor, the Drew is with the S Z. This is what everybody's been teaching with the golden star is that you want to develop your golden star. So today you could hear the plasma voice that is speaking to your soul. Okay. This is huge. So quantumhealing.club is our health center that specifically is targeting the star seeds. I've been trying for 15 years, approximately trying to work with people that are not star seeds and it doesn't work. It fails miserably. They are halfway in, halfway out. They are kind of committed, kind of not. They like some of the things, not other things. The star seeds, they know, they go, they do. They're committed and they don't care about the cost. They just want the information, the guidance and the hand holding to bring about that star essence that they know is within them, their I am. So quantum healing center is for star seeds. It's for those that want to ascend and they know how important it is. There's different degrees of help that you will need. And I'll get into that at the latter part of the show. But for right now, just know that we are working on health. That is why we shut down the radio show, why EBH is going dormant is because everything has to do with your golden star and what you're creating right now so you can ascend. It's your health, baby. Everything with your health. Staying ha happy. Also learning to be autonomous and being self-sufficient. Everything is within you, within your home environment and what you create. Nothing is outside. You cannot trust anybody or anything that is outside your home. Number one, in order to help to bring out your star seed essence, you need to start detoxing. You need to do it the right way. So pay attention to what you're doing. People that are nilly willy just following ivermectin because it's the in thing and it's the design hey, you're missing the boat. There are about a thousand different parasites. They have a habitat within every organ. The way that you move them out, the way that you snuff them out, the way that you protect, 
the container so that you're not poisoning your body as you go is really important, okay? So I have talked about this at length for the last probably three years. Make sure that you have your activated charcoal. Make sure that you're using olive vera or baking soda or, or regular aspirin. The importance of eating apples, green foods, live foods. You need to move that stuff out. The other thing is, is that you want to make sure that you're not stressing out the, the body because if the body is really stressed right now, it's going to affect the way that you absorb these higher plasma rays that are coming in that are opening up this 3D body into a 5D body. Everything is changing within you. So it's important to eliminate stress where you can. Do not overexercise. Overexercising will tax the body in a way that you can't afford to do that right now. When you exercise, it needs to be with forethought and methodical, more of a structured movement versus just pounding it. All right. You need to understand that you don't want to stress the body out where you don't need to. Also, you do not want to engage in any drama. That is their drama and their toxic poison. You don't want to absorb that. Leave that with them. That's what they created. This is not what you're doing. You are leaving the 3D and now creating 5D. The next thing is be wise about the people that you surround yourself with. If they are 3D earthlings, they're going to project their 3D earth lifestyle on you, plus their beliefs. This is not you. This is not where you're going. So just have a separation and a wall that is going to insulate you from their stinking thinking or their earthling belief system, okay? Okay. Do not eat meat, chicken, or pork. It's now coming out that pork, pigs, sue, whatever you want to call it, was tampered with and their DNA is 50% human. So when you're eating pork, you're actually eating human. Stop it. It's cannibalism. You are not going to be able to cross that bridge if you have pork, meat, or chicken, or blood in your system. You need to purify this body as it's remaking itself to infuse into the 5D reality. This is very important to understand. Next, you want to eat cooked fruits and vegetables as well as raw. The reason being is because when you cook something, when you steam something, when you eat it in different forms, it has a different frequency and a different molecule structure. And you can actually take one food item and get different types of nutrients from that one thing, like celery, for instance. Okay. The next thing is you want to make sure that you're eating rainbow fruits and vegetables. They have a different mineral content and it's in different degrees of concentration and that's what brings out the color so you can study the color of the fruits and vegetables and understand what you're actually digesting the next thing is healthy fats healthy fats are so important because you have between 37 to 50 trillion cells in your body. And each one of those cells is going to die off and leave because it was a 3D cell that's now transforming into a 5D cell. So as you're now remaking your body, you want to make sure that you have the healthy fats for that. Okay. Fish is very good. Some fish are better than others. Tilapia and salmon are terrible because the salmon that's farm fresh is full of parasites. They put antibiotics in it. It's horrible for you. You want to make sure that you're getting farm, not farm fresh, 
but fresh fish out in the ocean is best, okay? Or if you're eating rainbow trout or something like that, you want to make sure that it is responsibly fished, all right? Next thing is krill is really good for the body for healthy fats. Seafood, when you deal with lobster, shrimp, mussels, scallops, they're all part of the cleaning system of the ocean and full of toxins. Shrimp and lobster are bugs. You don't want to eat bugs. That is not conducive to a high vibration body. I want you to be very cautious of what you're putting in your body because you're actually creating the 5D self right now. Your body's getting a complete new overhaul. And depending on how you eat will dictate how fast and how strong that new body is going to be. So as you're moving into this new paradigm, you're eating better, you've changed your diet, you've changed your home life, you're now growing your own food, you're paying attention to the quality of water, you're paying attention to the way that you're cooking your foods, using spices. The next part is your home wellness center tools. Because as you're detoxing and as you're building this new version of yourself, there are a couple of things that you can purchase for your home wellness center that will help this process. One is a red light and there are approximately three to four different spectrums that are important. So you want to pay attention to that. If you are dealing with depression of any kind, you want blue light and you need to increase your minerals. Number two is an amethyst mat. An amethyst mat, you only need the small one and that will help you with pain. It will help you to detox the lymph and it will also help to, to put the body at ease so that it can heal. You're also working with the frequency and the mineral content of the amethysts that are inside the mat. You are a crystal, so this is important, all right? Next, you want to exercise. The venoms has paralyzed your internal organs. And in order to get them moving again, so all of the organs do this contraction movement that pulsates energy, oxygen, blood, hormones, all your nutrients, right? It pulsates. When you are poisoned by venoms, it stops that and paralyzes you. So it's important to get that going again. And you can do that with floor exercises or wall exercises if you have back issues, stretching and learning how to use the wall to embrace those different back movements and gently putting the back back into alignment, you can do that very easily. Go gradually. Nothing is forced. Nothing is fast. Otherwise, you're going to rip and tear things. Go very gentle, okay? You can also use uh, the floor and a yoga mat to be able to stretch. Yoga is probably one of the best exercises because it's alkalining. The next one would be anything that you're doing a floor exercise using rubber bands or weights in a gentle controlled motion is alkalining. When you do something like CrossFit, you're out there just beating your body up. You don't have the right nutrients. People are poisoned. They're eating the wrong diets. They don't understand what they're doing. That's actually causing acid. And most people that do it incorrectly will end up with health problems within a couple of years. All right. So you don't want to do that. Everything needs to be methodical and strategized. It's a simple movement sometimes that you can use to build muscle. Look at Bruce Lee. He had a great body and this is the way that he increased mass within his own body. Okay. Next, we're going to go to 
stair climbers. Stair climbers are really good, good for dealing with the gluteus maximus, which is the biggest muscle from your butt down to the back of your legs. And you do it in a controlled fashion. You don't want to do it fast and beat up those muscles. This one will help you burn fat in a way that puts the whole body into a rhythm of, of exercise just by focusing on that one group of muscles in the back of the leg, okay? The next thing is going to be uh, aware of relaxing and contracting these muscles. And you could do it laying in bed. You can do it watching TV. You don't have to start doing 200 sit-ups. You can do it by just starting to do some simple movements to get those internal organs moving again. All right, this is really important. So next, I wanna talk about easy nutrients. Easy nutrients for your body to digest is always going to be juices that you make at home. Do not trust this stuff outside of your home because they are putting all kinds of crap into it. Uh, even um, metal type lubricants or machinery lubricants. You, you don't want to do that to your body as you're creating this new vessel. What you want is pure juices, hopefully from your own garden or somebody else's that you trust that's farm fresh responsibly. The other thing that you really want to start thinking about is apothecary. Apothecary is the idea where you can take dehydrated or freeze dried foods or herbs and making them into your wellness cabinet. Apothecary is going to become paramount to your own wellness center. We're no longer going to trust people with our health. Those that you do are people that you're going to stay with that know what they're talking about, that there is a trust bond. We're no longer going to be going to clinics or going to the hospital or things like that. The world is changing and health and your medical needs will most often be treated at home responsibly by you. The more knowledge that you have, the better it's going to be. We need to create cabinets within our house, which are called apothecary, that has herbs that we can gather ourselves first. So you're going to want to grow herbs and you're going to want to go to farmer's markets and pick up herbs or get bags of herbs that you can store in jars or into wood cabinets that you'll be able to make your own brews to be able to heal yourself. Like using turmeric, using ginger, knowing when to use garlic or onions how to make honey onion syrup that is super loaded with sulfur that is going to be able to cleanse the blood of all the parasites. Or if you have a flu and you have a type of a vitamin C deficiency, you can put dehydrated oranges, limes, and lemons into a glass jar and fill it with honey and let it set for a week or two, and then take a spoonful of that when you're not feeling well. We're going to have more of these syrups that we're going to make that produces wellness opposed to using petroleum-based modern medicine, which produces disease, okay? People are going to learn how to heal themselves. So get these books while you can and start learning apothecary because it's really important. We need to learn how to grow, dry, and store our medicines. This is part of our wellness program that we're moving into. No one touches your food or your medicine anymore. Water and your ability to store water or foods is going to be very important, okay? This is all about you trusting yourself 
and guiding yourself with your own knowledge. So don't back away with it. Coursea.com has free classes. So does Stanford University. And I've seen some at Harvard. All these schools are going for free online. YouTube is turning into a university type environment. So you want to pay attention to that and utilize that knowledge. Please take an A plus course. Start now, learn your computers, learn how to do this stuff that I'm showing you the way because we're not going to have the middleman or people controlling us anymore. We're going to be self-sustaining and self-reliant. That is the 5D. Okay, the next thing is the importance of learning soap making. I cannot tell you how important this is other than maybe saying it 10 times. Soap making is important because they have poisoned the most through soap, soap making. So we need to learn how to make shampoos with soap. We need to learn how to make our own hand soap, dishwashing soap, laundry soap, because they've been sneaking in venoms into these soaps. They have shampoos that causes you to lose your hair, laurel sulfate. And a lot of us are using it. It causes skin cancer. So you want to get away from that and start making your own soaps. I was told a long time by Lavendar, who is a star seed, also a Palladian that came here. And she told me that a lot of these clays were left here by the Palladians so that we could heal ourselves. So you want to look at the clays. And I saw on Amazon, there's a nice array of different kinds of clays that you can incorporate with your soaps along with your essential oils. Here's where your essential oils come in. You can treat yourselves for diseases just by using your soaps. It's so important. So grab yourself a book, maybe take a class, watch some videos. We are also going to be teaching classes on quantumhealing.club wellness center so that people can take a hold of their health and start treating themselves by using the appropriate soaps. Also, soap has frequency. By using things like rose oil, which has a very high frequency, you're speaking to the light body within the container when you use flower essence. Here is a great way to submerge soap with flower essence to speak and harmonize with your soul self. Okay, this is so important. Another thing is the importance of using your crystal bowl or your music bowl that we got months ago or years ago we bought these bowls and it's important to ring that at least once a day if not three to five times a day because what it does is it stops that 3d environment mindset vibration that our container is holding and it's pushing it out and it's realigning us so you have the control of doing that. It's really good to put those bowls in a hallway or in the center of your home somewhere where you can chime it. If other people in your house or house are more of the earthling environment, they're not going to like that bowl. So you can put it into your home or you can get it on YouTube, put in head speakers and do it yourself and nobody has to hear it but you. Keep aligning yourself because when you hear those sounds, what happens is all your chakras come alive and they all step into the same beat, the same rhythm, and they start amplifying that vibration out to your aura field. This will allow you to use your muons to create your, your reality the way that you want. It puts some power behind it. Do you want to say anything, Tom? I think it's important for everybody to understand that part of having that new 5D body that Muggsy's talking about is this is actually the process. We are building it. 
a lot of people are waiting for the med beds to come in so it does it for you however we've always been told that everything we need is within ourselves and so we're the ones that are going to build this new 5d world and a part of that is having a 5d body if somebody gave you a fresh you know skin suit and now you're 22 years old but you you don't know how to drive it you don't know how to use it properly and so in the 5d i think it's important and mugsy correct me if i'm wrong is we have to learn how to take care of our vehicles in the proper way. And this is something that we haven't been taught or we have bits and pieces. Like for instance, for me, the working out is ingrained that I should go to the gym and just start lifting weights. And I have to look at it in a different approach in terms of not only my food, what I'm feeding my vessel, but how I'm exercising as well. All of the above. I just I just want to remind people that this is part of building your 5D body. The people that are just waiting for the mad bad, they're going to end up with the one that turns you back into a 3D environment. The ones that are star seeds, we know that we need to do this ourselves. So this is the blueprint for how to do that. And quantum healing is going to be for star seeds. It's not going to be for earthlings because they won't get us. They'll be wasting their money. And they are the type of mindset that wants other people to do it for them. And quantum healing is not about that. Quantum healing is I'll do it. I'm going to do it. And I'm going to do it the best way that I can. That's 5D right there in a nutshell. And I want to mention that don't forget your pets. You need to learn how to cook food for your pets because the a lot of the pet foods that are out there are poisoned in order to bring about drama so that they can suck your energy. So you want to cook your own foods, but you also want to make them pet soap because you don't want their soaps to be tainted with things that we use for hydraulic greasers, you know, or submarine um, engine grease or something. You you want to make sure that you're giving your pet harmonious soaps that is in alignment with their frequency using essential oils that works with their body. It all has to be planned out, researched, and methodical with the way that we are orchestrating our reality right now. Nothing is haphazard. So with that, I want to talk about God's law is the supreme law. It is where you see where the admiralty law or Thoth law or the law that the Rothschilds were implementing within the 3D environment was about that the king was in charge of dictating the law and that the judges in the black robes were the ones that would enforce banker law in alignment with the king's law in order so that the king got all the money and they extrapolated it from you with what they thought was just cause. So that is not the case anymore. We're now moving into God's law, which is supreme law and the way he interprets it, which is right for everybody. And this is really just common sense and knowing how to work with where we go one, we go all. What is right for everybody? It's what's right for you. And it's a win-win situation that we're going to create. So when you're dealing with a 3D person, what they're like is more of the way of operating in anger. They force fraud, coercion, backlashing, emotional vampires. They attack each other. They cheat. They're thieving. They're mean. They're controlling manipulation, steal, lies. They're tricksters. They're con artists, tyrants, bullies, and their service to self. They're very close-minded and not wanting to be self-sufficient. They're wanting somebody else to support them. They're always waiting for the Nasera Gisera and 
their money to be given to them from some other source and they focus more on money they don't really have an a personality because they're operating on the ego and they're for they're focusing on the group collective doing what everybody else does they're not willing to step outside of the group and do what's right from within and the knowledge that we contain within. That is the difference between an earthling and a star seed. A star seed is going to be the black sheep, is going to go within, and is not going to be doing these behaviors that I just mentioned. If I have money, I'm going to share it because why not? If Once you understand that we create our reality, we create our own money, we, money is just energy. And once you know how to manipulate the universal energies, you can get as much money as you want whenever you want. It just, boom, shows up. So we have no reason to work with desperation. Only the earthlings do. So separate yourself and understand that according to God's law, not Muggsy's law, not something I'm passing around, but the earthlings that demonstrate those behaviors that I just mentioned, they're the ones that are going to be returning to earth and a 3D environment. The star seeds are not. We're being set free and we're being able to move to the 5D. The people that are earthlings that want to give up that old way and want to move into the new reality, they are going to go as well. But they have to be able to let go of the old reality. And most of them will not. And a good barometer for that, what everybody is watching, is money. How are you with the RV? How are you with the Nasera Jacera? How do you feel? Are you sitting there wasting your time putting together a blueprint for how you're going to save the world with all the money that you're getting? Or are you acting in a way that is demonstrating that you're taking control of your new reality? There's a big difference. There's a lot of people that are waiting for somebody to come save them versus the star seeds that are saving themselves and then helping those around them that have the same desires. Big difference. Two different realities and you know who's who and you know what's going on. Okay. You can see it. So the people moving to 5D are the ones that have separated themselves. They're staying to themselves, they're more of the black sheep. They, they don't follow the group collective. They know that they are moving home. Their intuition is kicking in. They are researching and building knowledge. They are going through the elimination process of getting rid of the 3D, kind of like having a stinky old coat that you don't want anymore and you can't get it off fast enough. Your awareness is increasing. You're fatigued and tired. You're working diligently, extremely hard to get rid of and purge the poisons from the 3D, all of the vaccines, whatever you've taken, we're moving them out of our body and we're instead now developing this new 5D body. We are adapting to self-sufficiency. We're learning our skills again, how to garden, how to farm the land, how to set up land management, how to become a home chef, how to use different spices and how to heal yourself with those spices. We are also feeling overwhelmed at this time because there is a lot that we're doing all at once. At the same time as our body is purging, trust me, Tom and I are going through it too. We are putting closure to the old ways of 3D life and not accepting it anymore. And we're open to the new higher vibration ideas that make us feel good. And we're following step with that even though nobody's telling us that that's what we need to do. Instinctively, we know where we need to go. Because of that, you guys are going to need a lot of rest, relaxation, and quality sleep as you're releasing the old world and opening up to this new reality. With that, we're also breaking free the pineal gland, which is a crystal. 
we are going to use foods and herbs to make sure that you get the most of your pineal gland, which is in communication with your planetary star system, but also the ship that's above that's radiating down the energies that you want to absorb. So the spices and foods that you should be adding out of your cabinet is turmeric, kelp, various salts, iodine, seaweed, sea moss, and something that is called Kama Lake Algae, K-L-A-M-A-T-H, Lake Algae, Purple Corn Extract, Natural Tobacco, which is a natural tobacco. Anything purple is a natural tobacco. Uh, Cacao is really good. If you're craving chocolate, it might be because you're detoxing. Shilajit which is my antique minerals and Ormus. Ormus is from the volcanic ash and you want to get different colors. Different colors have different minerals, okay? In order to help you with this process, you wanna ground yourself by going outside. Take your shoes off, walk in dirt, walk on grass, you know, spend time in nature. The birds and the bees have a frequency that they emit that your inner soul speaks to, that your cells of your body is connected to. So you want to make sure that you're listening to chirping. Let the noise go. Calm yourself in the zero point. Stop. Calm. Listen to what's around you. Another thing that you can do is taking advantage of electroculture, electroculture, which is just bamboo sticks or any kind of a stick with copper tied around it. And you put it in various places around the parameters of your home or your backyard. When you do this, you're creating a vortex of a higher energy around your house. It's actually disturbing the 3D frequencies and creating a higher resonance around your home that your cells in your body are picking up on. This is very healing. Also having copper in your home is very healing. You want to also have a variety of crystals that you surround yourself with or that you can wear. So they have crystal bracelets and use your intuition. Do not rely on other people to tell you what you need, unless it's one of your energy workers, somebody that knows about frequency in your body, like doing biofrequency that's directly tapped into your body. Okay, and I'm not talking about intuition here. I'm talking about biofrequency. Biofrequency pings your body and comes back and tells the device what you need. That's a direct connection. When you're dealing with somebody that's a muscle tester or somebody that is a psychic, or it's coming from them, not from your body. There's a big distinction And you guys need to be aware of that. You want to attract your own crystal. Use your own hand over and feel. Do it blind tested. Put your hand over your eyes. See what resonates. The next thing is you want to focus on self-governing. And that includes protection. You need to protect yourself. Do not go outside at night. Right now, there's a lot of creepy things out there. And especially since you guys are a beacon of this high vibration of light, there are dark things that are outside that need your light to exist. So stay home, protect yourself, try to do as much as you're shopping uh, at one time, preferably going to farms farmer market type things where you can get everything all at once or do it online. Another thing is 
that the highest form of ignorance is when you reject something you don't know. This is a quote. The highest form of ignorance is when you reject something you don't know. You should always listen. Don't hold judgment. See if it resonates with you. If it doesn't, maybe it will later. Maybe it won't. So the best type of lymphatic cleanse that you can do is a detox foot bath that is ionic. And it will, through negative ions and positive ions, pull out all the poisons in your body, in your lymph system. And two things are really important. One is the petroleum oil. I have not seen anything pull out petroleum oil or heavy metals like the detox foot bath. And it has to be ionic. It's not just soaking your feet in salt or vinegar. Okay. You want to avoid all chemicals at any expense. Any chemicals was created to poison you. And the way that they did it was that they took something that God or nature made and they split the atoms or the electrons and they make it poison because now it's missing an electron. So something that you want to be cautious of is anything that is bought in a store that it's a household cleanser, personal care items, makeup, dyes, food additives roundup or their chemical soaps that might have venom in them you want to make these at home it's cheaper it's safer it's better and you can add a little bit of an essential oil and just really top them off as something that is going to be healthy for you and your family the next thing that i want to talk about is the importance of getting your essential oil kit together. People are even making their own essential oils now, which is a great idea, but you can also purchase essential oils and there are new distributors on eBay, Amazon. They're all over. They're probably on TikTok too. People that are attached to money, that is a matrix of the 3D that's why the money sign is in the sign of a snake. That is the 3D snake control. That is the prison planet. So you want to liberate yourself from money. Money was actually something that can be utilized to set you free. There is a way to use money that is harmful and there's a way to use it when it's beneficial and using it to buy seeds or to get your plantation going or self-sustaining or making your own products, that is a healthy way of using money where if you're using it to obsess about or control people or be able to distinguish somebody's importance on money, that's wrong. So somebody that's a star seed, you already know this, somebody that is an earthling is going to be more geared to thinking that I'm wrong and full of it. Okay. Foods that are really good for you. Zinc foods remove heavy metals. And we have fruits and vegetables that have zinc in it. And that's what we should be focusing on. Not getting a plastic bottle full of zinc. We're going to move away from supplements. Those were interim ways for us to move from the 3D to the 4D, now in the 5D, we're going to be looking at our foods that produce zinc to remove the heavy metals. One of which is going to be cilantro. Another is potatoes. There are other ones. You want to check them out. You want to be looking for plants that are high in calcium, nuts high in magnesium, fruits high in potassium, C, vegetables is what they're called, vegetables, uh, which are high in iodine and seeds that are high in selenium, like Brazil nuts are really high in selenium. You want to look those up. So symptoms of mineral deficiencies is bloating, constipation, abdominal pain. Also, it's a sign of harboring parasites and salts will help to get rid of fungus 
and parasites. This is why modern medicine was telling you not to use salt is because you could kill their whole paradigm of money-making disease by just using salt. Think about that for a minute. So decreasing immune system, loss of appetite, irregular heartbeat is caused from a lack of minerals in your body, salt. Muscle cramping is a sign of a lack of salt. Nausea, vomiting, numbness, or tingling, and even brain fog is caused from a lack of salt in your body. And you want to shake it up. You want different colors, okay? And you want to look around the world. Also attached to salt is memories. So you can actually get smarter by using different salts around the world. 50 trillion cells create your body. That is the container for your soul. Every cell in your body is charged with electrical input by the light body, which creates the battery within. Each cell can administer 1.4 volts of an electrical charge. If you multiply 50 trillion cells by 1.4 volts, that will equal 700 trillion volts of electrical energy that your body holds at any given moment. That's when it's running at its optimum and it's not disease contaminated. Are you using modern medicine? If you are, it's petroleum oil based. Are you eating processed foods? If you are, you're eating chemicals, waste products, or dead animals. Work on a high vibration because that's your ascension body. You're creating it now. Free will is what is preparing the bridge for your 5D or 3D, and you're in charge of it. Star seeds, I know you want to go home. In the age of information, Ignorance is a choice. It's a bond to earth or to 5D. If you want to go to 5D, you have to let ignorance go and begin the journey of knowledge building. The electrical cross is in the laminin that is an electrical charge protein molecule that is in every single cell in your body. It's a cross. And this is what keeps you alive. This is what keeps you on this timeline. And it's what manipulates the gates around the planet, which either brings in or stops you from creating the reality that you want. So remember, the very basic core essence of what you are is an electrical cross and how you treat it, how you protect it will be admin, will be viewable by other people. They will know it's something that is physically monitored or it's something that you can see. It is the fiber that holds the biological body together. With water, salt, and an electric vibration, your emotions is what creates the waves within the water that creates this electrical charge that allows you to manifest everything that you want. Here's a quote. He is before all things, and in him all things are held together. This is in Colossians 1, semicolon 17. And by him... The cross of all things consists and vibrates and exists because of this electrical cross within you. Whether they be things in earth or whether they be things in heaven. So you control this cross, my friends. Star seeds, let's go home. Leave earth and fly to the unknown with the quantum shift. Let's go. So quantum healing, our phone number is 928-628-9777. We're here to assist you. 
And depending on what your needs are, you can take advantage of it as you so wish. You can do it alone or if you're just beginning and you need a lot of help, depending on what your needs are, okay? So what we're available for is nutritional help or guidance, uh, red light therapy, biofrequency, homopathic, apothecary, soap making. We're going to get into a lot of things. So if you want to start as a client, you can and use the biofrequency to see what your body is saying about your health and be more aware of the needs that you need to make. Or you can do it alone. Uh, if you have this and you know what to look for and you're a healer yourself, great, go. If you need help, we're here. 928-628-9777. And you'll be talking with Tom and you can let him know what you want and he can help put you in the right direction of somebody that can help you. We also have other people that are in our team that are going to school for other services that we're going to be able to offer. So keep an eye on quantumhealing.club. This will be your star seed center for healing, quantum healing center for star seeds. And we're quantumhealing.club. Okay, Tom, what do you got for me? I just want to say one more thing. I think it's important for everybody to realize after all this information, which is unbelievable, fantastic info from Muggsy, is be kind to yourself. Don't overdo it. We hear people say all the time that I'm taking four to five different things to kill parasites. Uh, we're impatient. We want to get all of this stuff out of us right away. Just be kind to yourself and go slow. And, and you know, just listen to your body. And that's... That's what I wanted to add. Okay. And just so you know that we are also teaching people how to do this. And the way that we teach is not with getting a book and you're reading a book and it means like nothing to you, really. We're applying it to your own body and your own health. That's the way that we're teaching. It's hands on showing you the ways that that you can do it for yourself to heal yourself so you can become a self healer. Nobody's doing it for you. And this is not the old way of going to school. Okay. I just want to make that clear that we teach by example and showing you with your own body and your own evidence. We're also doing iridology as well, which shows you the eyes and what the inside of your body is saying about your body your body's health. Okay. And you want to be aware of that as you are developing your new 5D self. Everything in your body is going to be changing. Are you giving it the right nutrients? Are you giving it the right mental thoughts that need to happen? Are you in a spiritual place where you're calm, where your body can heal by itself and grow this new fantastic body that you're wanting to do? So if you need help, 928-628-9777. And you can talk to Tom and he'll help point you in the right direction. Okay. And you can check out our website, quantumhealing.club. And we do have other information up there as well. Okay, Tom. Yes, Muggsy. You want to say goodbye now? A goodbye for now. And we will catch you guys on the next episode of the Quantum Healing Show. See you, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Until next time, keep building your bridge to abundance and prosperity. For more information on the Quantum Healing Show, please visit quantumhealing.club. That's quantumhealing.club. Until the next Quantum Healing Adventure, take care and stay enlightened. Dash wish for you Let this life unfold Dreams soaring high Worries control Carry only what Your heart can hold On your journey Love be your stronghold As you reach your goals Know someone loves you true We're in this together Beside you, guiding you through The fight is won, the war is done Bask in the glory of God
May the days unfold with these moments linger in gentle breeze. Every road guiding where you aim to be. Choices may live free. If face the choices, choose what's true. The one that needs the most to you. If doors close, find the windows glow in the cold.